Are you willing to listen? Yes. Okay, tell good. Me. We'll tell him some good things in the tell Quran, me. no problem. Tell me. How much time you got? You've not spoken from the Quran once. I will, I will, no problem. Because I was actually criticizing the Bible. What, because what Bible? these, my friends here, are Christians and they were teaching about what? Why, why Christianity. Does that, why does that bother you? Why, it doesn't bother me. It is bothering no, you. No, it's not. I like, I like to stand it's for justice and peace. Lying. And the truth. If somebody speaks the lies, I have every right to expose the lies. And this is exactly what you have been doing. I've seen you many years in this in this speaker's corner. Thank you very much. Yes, and you always lie against Islam. You wanted to hear something you about hear love? Him and saying lies? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here is something in the Quran, chapter 2, verse 208. Oh, you who believe, enter absolutely in peace. Yes, in Islam, do not follow in the footsteps of Satan. He is outright an enemy to you. Are you peaceful? Alhamdulillah. Are you peaceful verbally? Alhamdulillah. Are you be peaceful verbally? It depends whom I'm speaking to. Oh. So I cannot be oh, peaceful. You cherry pick, do you? Yes, I'm of course. Cherry. Of course, oh, I need to. Cherry, he's cherry picked. Oh, I made him happy. See, this is what Islam is. Then bring a smile to a guy, even while I'm cherry picking. Now let me give you another. No, you wanted to know what's in the Quran. I'll give you another verse in the Quran. Oh, you who believe. Oh, you who believe. Stand out firmly for God as witness for fair dealings. And do not let the hatred of people yes, lead you to treat them unjustly. Deal with them justly, it is closer to piety. So, my friend, if you're going to use violence against us, we are obliged to use violence only if you do not make peace. But if you make peace, then we have to make peace with you. But the important thing is this. What kind of a religion is that? That was Christianity. Eye for an eye. Remember? Yeah, tooth for a tooth. Changed. And what is he going to do in the second coming? But that, was he, that's what happened? The judgment, brother. That's the judgment. judgment for, for whom? It's on earth. He's telling God what he can and what he can't do. On earth. He's telling God what he can and what he can't do. Well, you're telling God to... Stop telling him. You're telling, you're telling Jesus who is the real God when Jesus tells you he's the Father. He said, I'm not telling Answer, Jesus. Answer, why are you quiet now? Why are you quiet now? The truth is found in paradise. No, don't change the topic. Answer my question. I've answered yours. No, you haven't. According to Jesus, who is the true God? Two sides of the same coin. No, it's not. Jesus said the only true God is the Father. I bring life in abundance. I am the Father. Jesus said, I am not convinced. I didn't ask you. He said, I am not convinced. He said, I am not convinced. Okay, you want to answer the question that I'm asking? Don't like to bring life in abundance. Wait, wait, wait. So according to Jesus, so, so, listen, so, so, listen, do you follow did Jesus? He what did he do? when he came to give his life to for your life? Yeah. So, so who is the God of the Old Testament? Come on. The God of Abraham. The God, God of the Jews. Does it include Jesus? Okay, listen, I'm going to say it like no, no, answer the, question. the best way. Wait, like, because your questions are guided by your own motivations. Now, let me just tell Well, they have you to be. It's me speaking. Yeah, but let me just tell you truthfully what I know. Are you going to answer my question or not? Yeah, 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 I'm doing it. Okay. What so, is my question? So here. What is my question? About Jesus being God. No, you see, you are not listening. Listen this time. Stop setting All the atrocities, I'm not talking to you, sir. All atrocities All in the Old Testament, were they sanctioned by God? Listen, do you know that Jesus was proclaimed Can you please, all can you please answer Old the Testament? question can instead you, of changing? Okay, can you answer me this? I will answer after you answer do mine. Do you recognize I will that answer Jesus you, is coming was proclaimed I will answer you after you answer my question. Is Jesus the God of the Old Testament or not? No. There you go. No, he said no, it's not. <laughs> no, come on. Okay, I think, I think no, the Christians will. No, no, well, you no, stop pulling no, me. No, listen to will me. you stop pulling no, me? No, I, want you to I don't want you to be, I, I want you I don't want you to be aggressive towards me. No, I'm not. You are. So this gentleman here thinks Jesus is not the God of the Old Testament and he became a God in the New Testament. No, so what was he doing? A God in the New Testament. You, you, you're making up your own story. Oh, so you don't believe Jesus is God at all? Listen, you're making up your own story. Let me ask you, is he God at all? Listen, man, let me ask you something. Do you know who God is? Yes. Who is God? Okay, calm What's down first. What's his name? Calm down. You tell me what his My name God's name is Allah. Allah, but Allah is not in his name. How do you Allah know? means the God. Allah is it does, the, Allah is the a title. Allah is a title. Do you know Arabic? What did they call? Allah. Listen. Do you know Arabic? I've heard. I have lots of Arabic friends. Doesn't matter. I have lots of French friends. I don't know French. The Christian Arabs, they <laughs> but call you Allah. do have an idea of French. Okay. al ilah means the God. Okay. Not Allah. So there, you have been educated. Anything else you want to say? Yes. Yes. What else? Here's the thing. By the way, do you know what Jesus would have called God in his language in Arabic? Let's see if you, you know Jesus' me. language. You Shall I tell you? Please. You don't know, I'll teach you. Please. Here it is. Jesus. In Aramaic, Abba, with, no, Ab, no, no, no. I asked you for the for God, for God, not a reference to God, for God, the term God in Aramaic. Okay, you tell me. Allah. 
Allah. Allah. Allah. Yes. yes. And, and, and who? Aramaic, in Aramaic language. How, how can you prove that to me? Because let's say I don't have any of these informations. You just Look it up. Go do your homework if you think I'm lying. All right. Okay? Can I, can I just say that? Do you, don't, you don't mind me just answering that here? Are you part of that group? Kind of, yeah. You're kind of? Uh, okay. Aramaic, uh, Hebrew, yeah. yes. Ethiopic. They're all part of the same branch. Sister anyway. languages, yeah. So they would, they would have similarities anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with that. So basically using a title for God that also matches Allah doesn't necessarily mean that it is Allah. No, it shows that this Do term, you know this term, I mean? yes, I know. This term, Allah, Allah, Elo, Allah, they're all related. You're right. Yeah. Now you are, let me ask you a question. What is the personal name of God in the New Testament? In the New Testament? Yes. As in God the Father, God the Son. Of That's God not a personal Spirit. name. Come on. Your Yahweh. name is not the man. Your name, is not the, your name is not Yahweh. a gentleman. The Yahweh is not, is not in the New Testament. The great, Next. Yes, is. The what is the personal name? Yes, is. The great I am. He says, yes, I am. I am is not Yahweh. Who told he you that? He said, Who he told says, you that? I am. He Who has many no, names. You know, your, your problem is you don't know Hebrew and you don't know He's Arabic and you don't even He's know the... Deliverer. Okay, by the way, I am in, in Greek is Ego Emi. It's not Yahweh. But I don't care about that. Who does? You don't care? But Forget it. Let me ask him then. What changes your life that you know these? By the way, you're getting very aggressive now. Can you please step away? Okay. Let, let me ask you this. What is the personal name? I'm sure you see Allah has blessed us with 99 names in the Quran. No, no. I want to know the personal name in any language in the New Testament. In the New Testament, Jesus. I am Yahweh. The personal name of God. Yeah, Emmanuel, God with us. Nobody uh, called him Emmanuel the in the New Testament. Testament. They said in yeah, the book of Matthew, is it? Yeah, yeah that's, says, that's a prophecy which never came true. They will call his okay. name Emmanuel. And who called him Emmanuel? Basically. Who called him Emmanuel from the entire New Testament? No one. No, that's, listen, listen. What is in the book of Matthew is supposed to be a prophecy before Jesus was born. Okay? Now the question is this. Did anyone after Jesus' birth from the entire New Testament call Jesus Emmanuel? No. There you go. So prophecy unfit. You so prophecy it. unfulfilled. Yes, now, prophecy, now yeah. back to my yeah. question. What is the personal name of God Almighty? When I say so God, you know exactly I, who I mean. Can I just answer your point though? But Matthew yeah. does use it in fulfillment of the prophecy. No, he doesn't. Because he writes. A prophecy is fulfilled. No, a prophecy is. Emmanuel. He repeats a prophecy of the Old Testament. Yeah. That's uh, allegedly. But he refers to Jesus as being Emmanuel. It doesn't matter. Nobody calls him Emmanuel. That's the thing. In a the prophecy Matthew, has to come. Uh, has you've to got the book of Matthew. Get the book of Matthew out, and he says he should be called. Emmanuel. Yeah, should be called, which is a future tense, the right? Book, he uses it in his book. Oh my God! No, I said this is a prophecy of the future. So you, you believe it's in of the future. The Ten Commandments, just like I do. Yeah. By the way, I think I can say, "Oh my God," no problem. Yeah, yeah. Because I believe, "Oh my God," mm -hmm. is an exclamation, and it's not a, an oath. But it, so, it so, and, well, so maybe for you it yeah. is. But listen to this. According to Jesus Christ, do you believe that the only true God is the Father? I believe that the Father, the Son, and the Spirit are all God. No, I'm saying based on the testimony of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do you believe that in John 7 and 3, which they didn't want to answer, yeah, yeah. what did he say? This is eternal life, that they may know you. Who is the you here? The Father. That they may know you, the only true God, yeah. and yeah. Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. But if I take a verse out of context, I can say that the Bible says in the Old Testament, there is no God. <coughs> there is no God. Psalm 14 verse 1, the fool has said in his heart, there Yeah, but is finish no the words, at least I completed the words. You have to take it as a book. No, no, you, you, what you did was, wasn't out of context. You gave half the words, not yeah. the full verse. So I that's took it out of context. No, it's not taking it out of context. When you, when you actually take it out of context, that's different. That guy, that guy right there is probably are you, are you all together? Finish are you all together? Like no. Yeah. Well, come, bring every, him here. I don't care anyone. Every time. Bring anyone here. Bob the Builder, whoever you're pointing yeah, 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 yeah. to. Bring them here. We'll, we'll deal with them. No problem. We're not scared of anyone. What I'm saying is this. Look, yeah. if you take half the verse, Yep. Yes, that is not out of context. That is misquoting the words. If, if you take, but if I, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You put John 173 in context, and you tell me what it means. What does what does Jesus mean when he says to the Father, "You, the only true God"? How many true gods are there, by the way? One. And who is that according to Jesus? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Where does Jesus say God the Father, I God the, the Son? Father are one. No, where he no. say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? Well, because Jesus, you just made up certain statements which are not in the Bible. That he submits himself to God because he entered this world coming from heaven. Because in the Old Testament, as you know, it says we have created man in whose image? Are you going to answer my question? Who is the only true God? Would you answer because what you're doing now you is, is red herring. If you don't want to answer the question, no, but it's an answer to your question. No, it's not. Because <laughs> what you're doing here, when Jesus was on earth, I agree he was a human being. I was answering your question. Yes, I was. I'm telling you the no, background. I was answering your question. No, you weren't. So you said... Okay, what was my question? 
So basically, you said, who does he think God is? No, that is not true. Fire away. Listen to my question, I'll repeat it again. Thank you. Who does Jesus say is the only true God? The Father. Only the Father? Mm -hmm. Good. Who do you say is the only true God? The Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Now, why do you disrespect and disobey the testification and the assertion of uh, Jesus Christ that the only true God is the Father and not the Trinity? Because he's speaking in a particular context, which is why I said you took it out of context. Okay, so in what context did Jesus ever so say, wait, wait, in the Old in what, Testament? Wait a minute, wait, listen yeah. to this. Can you let me make your Yeah, point? yeah, I will, I will, after you listen to me. Jesus I'll said, and then I'll make my point. yes, sure. Okay. Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. Is You're saying the only true God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, what you said is not what Jesus said. So you have to substantiate what you claim from the testification of Jesus Christ. Can you show me from the Bible where Jesus says that the only true God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? I'll take it from the Old Testament. Okay, show me from the Old Testament. So words the, of Jesus. Make sure the they're the words of Jesus. Genesis, no, I'm not using the word oh, so you, Jesus, you would go to other person's testimony, not the, not the testimony of Jesus. Yeah. You I would reject the testimony, testimony of Jesus. No, he, he's do, do you mind? Do you mind? Of, Hold on. Do you? I'm sure he can handle himself. He's, he's a grown man. Jesus Christ, the testimony of Jesus Christ is very important. Yeah, the testimony of Jesus Christ is very important. I'm sure to you and to me as well. So when Jesus says something, it, it has more weight than anyone else says, according no, to your faith. It's equal to any part of scripture. Oh, so you're saying if someone like any Tom, Dick or Harry says anything, and what Jesus says is the same level of... I tried to answer this point originally. Which point? So in the beginning, God said, let us make man in... What's the Hebrew word? You tell me, don't ask me questions. Our image, plural. So God speaks in the plural sense, because in, in Hebrew, like in Arabic, like in Aramaic, there's plural and there's singular. So im often denotes the plural form of any particular word in the Old Testament. You said often? Yeah. So not always? In some cases. Yeah. So, so in this case, do you think he's talking about multiple gods? So in this case, it's talking about God being in multiple persons. Where does it say multiple persons? You just added that in. Our. our doesn't, like you said, doesn't always mean plural. In the Hebrew, in that context, it does. How do you know? Do you know Hebrew? Yeah. What does Elohim mean? Elohim? Well, Elohim is the name of God. What does it mean? What does it mean? Is it a plural or singular? Elohim. Yeah. Is, it has singular. I am, like you said. Yeah, yeah, it's singular. Singular. Yeah, yeah. So there it says Elohim in that verse. El yeah, but <laughs> in certain cases, you are singular <laughs> and you are plural. No, but you said in this context, it is more than one person. No, no, but Elohim says, let us make God it's, in our image. Yeah. Is it one so person why, or multi person? That's so the thing. Elohim, God the Father, yes. says, let us make man in our image. Yeah. So, so when he's he referring says. Referring okay. to the other members of the Godhead. How do you know our is always plural? The context wait, wait. Even the context, even the context. Hmm? Whenever it speaks about Elohim, yes, the verb associated with it de denotes whether it is a singular context or it's talking. For example, yep. the term Elohim is used for whom? Moses in Exodus 7 1. You are Elohim to the Pharaoh. Yes? Yep. Are you saying Moses is a God? In the context, no. So the term Elohim is used for Moses. Mm -hmm. So that is what I'm trying to tell you. The term Elohim can be used for true God, for a false God, for a man, for angels even. Yeah. Okay? Like the term judge. Wait. The term Allah, on the other hand, can only be used for the one true God. It doesn't have a gender like masculine, sorry, uh, feminine and uh, masculine. It doesn't have a plural like gods. Yes? Mm -hmm. Or it cannot be used for false gods. Do you yeah. see the beauty of the name Allah? The term Allah is I used Arabic only... It's beautiful, but no. it doesn't make it right. No, what I'm telling you is that this shows how nuanced the Quran's remember, approach is. It Bible. talks about God. Yes, I was. I'm yes. The but but, what I'm but the question is, was this. Show know, me the three persons... I you're looking for an argument with someone. So Say again? You're, you're looking for an argument with someone. An argument. I'm because every time you ask a question yes. and we try and go in a slightly different direction to give an answer, you stop. And you stop whatever the answer is. No, so I do not I stop. Do I let you talk. Can I shake your hand? I let you talk. Yeah, can you can I shake, shake my hand. hand. What's your name, sir? Hashim. Hashim, I'm Stuart. Yes. It's lovely to meet you. I know that in your religion, you will be a man of high standing. It's not about yeah. high standard. The thing is this. If Jesus himself testified there is only one universal God who is the one true God and the Christians come and tell us based on the church's 4th century doctrine of the Trinity It's not 4th century Well, show me in the Bible where is the Trinity 
So originally it goes back. There's different parts where. Show me anywhere where you see a tripersonal well, God. Tell me anywhere, anywhere in the I Bible. I can find places, but at this point in time, because you've been here for quite a while, and this this lovely guy, I'm just going to wave over the camera there. He's capturing all. You this. don't need to go that near to wave. You can wave from here. Can you know how the camera works. I know, but the thing is, my kids, if they see it on the screen, that's how they wave at the person on the screen. Hey, you're not a kid. I'm not a kid. Then act like one then. Come on. I love the way that Okay, so tell me, where is the Trinity in the Bible? Hashim, okay. I'm going to speak to you with the utmost respect, my friend. You are an Ach, if we use the Hebrew term. You are a brother, but only in Adam. And the thing is that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of which the Apostle Paul was the greatest. And he's the one who wrote three quarters of the New where's Testament. The, but the so thing the, is, the, the thing is that's that you the, either believe the Lord the Jesus Christ as God. But you don't believe Jesus. I you did. no, you don't. You well, go against him. Sorry, I've just remember you said tri, you said you Jesus believe said, in a tripersonal God. Was I am, yeah. Just a minute, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll come to you. Just a minute. No, I, you believe in a tri, you. you believe in a tripersonal God. But Jesus believes in a unipersonal God. You, you, do you believe Jesus was the best example role model on earth? During his ministry, model. yeah. God is the best role model on earth. No, but is Jesus was Jesus the best role model? Yes. Yes. So the best role model is telling you to believe in a unipersonal God, not a tripersonal God. Very nice meeting you, sir. What's nice your name? Nice to meet you, Hashim. I'm Stuart. Stuart. I'll All right. Take care. You, you wanted to ask a question, sir? Huh? You wanted to ask a question? I'm just saying in the Bible it says, uh, before Abraham was, I am. And what does that mean? What does that mean? What does it mean? Huh? What does it mean? Huh? If someone exists before, what does it mean? Before. Yes. He's always existed. If someone existed, pre-existed yeah. before Abraham, okay. what does it mean? Okay. They always existed. They always existed. That's and that makes them God? Huh? That makes them God? Yeah, okay. Melchizedek always existed. Is he God? Huh? Melchizedek. In Hebrews chapter 7. Sorry. Uh, Hebrews 7.3. Uh, Have you got a verse? Yes. Hebrews 7.3. You got a Bible? Check it out. Well, I'll tell you. Huh? I've given you the verse now. Go home and check it. Hebrews 7.3. It says. Can you read out? Yes. It's talking about Melchizedek. Without beginning, without an end. He has no beginning, no end. No mother, no father, no genealogy. Is he God? He's in the likeness of the Son of God. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of scholars that think he is. He's what? That he's the Son of God. No, he said he's in the likeness of the Son of God. The same passage says this. So imagine if you were in the likeness of your oh, father. Yeah, you need to go and read it. Of course you got to go read it. Imagine if you were in the likeness of your father. Would, would you be your father? If you were in the likeness of your father, would you be your father? But I'm different. Of course you're different. Uh, so the answer is no, you wouldn't be your father. Way. You and your father are distinct people, distinct individuals. So when it says that verse... Jesus says, I am the father of one. Yeah, he also says, I am the disciples of one. How many gods you got now? 14? 15? It's all in the Bible, my friend. Everything that they've taught you in the church, they choose bits which will confirm to you that Jesus is God. But then when you look at the entire context, of the Bible, of the New Testament in particular, yes, and especially this one verse which is a thorn in the side of the Trinitarians. In the Gospel of John 17, chapter 17, verse 3, it says Jesus himself testified that the only true God is the Father, and Jesus is the Christ whom he had sent. So Jesus is a servant of God, it says so what, in the Bible. To be, I am, I am is ego emi, listen to this, many people in the Bible say I am, even Paul uses that terminology I am, there's a beggar in the Bible who he says I am, he doesn't say before Abraham was I am, even then, he, doesn't say he, he says about Melchizedek, he doesn't say that he existed before I'm him. telling you, Melchizedek, I've just shown you the verse, there is, he has no beginning, no end, that is even better than before Abraham, because that is basically saying that before Adam, before any man, yes, he existed since eternity, not even Abraham. Even before Adam, he existed. <clears throat> so who is better? Melchizedek is much better. Jesus at least had a mother. Melchizedek has no mother and no father. Jesus had two genealogies. Melchizedek had no genealogies. Now you tell me who is a better God. No, they are not. The scholars who are true to the teaching of the Bible and who have actually researched it without any bias, they'll tell you that Melchizedek is not Jesus. In fact, Bob the Builder actually used this first time when we met, when we had a debate. And he told me the same thing like you did, that he is actually Jesus Christ. He's a, a, a theophany of Jesus Christ. And then the next following week, he came and apologized to, to me after he researched it, that no, they are individuals who are not the same, distinct. 
So please go and do your homework, my friend. Jesus Christ is not God. He's a servant of God. You can keep repeating. You can keep denying Jesus Christ's own testimony. But it's up to you. I believe his words. Yeah, so his word says he, the only true God is the Father. So believe in that. Uh-huh.